She's passionate about telling stories of amazing women who are rocking the world and empowering women to live, love, and thrive. Here's your host, Katherine Gray. Hi, welcome everybody. Welcome to the party. <laughs> I say a party because of who my guest is today. And, uh, you know, every week we have on Amazing Women uh, at 360 Karma's Live, Love, Thrive Women's Empowerment Hour. And today is no different. I want you to give a warm welcome to my friend. She's not only uh, an actress and a writer, uh, but she has reinvented herself and is one of the leading jewelry designers in Los Angeles. Please welcome Minda Burr. Hi, oh, Minda. Thank you, Catherine. Thank <laughs> you for having me. You yeah. know, you're one of my favorite people in the world. Oh, my God. I love you. Well, back at you. Uh, you know, we are so fortunate that our paths have crossed, and uh, yes. we are both like super connectors, and we enjoy yes. that. And so put us together and woo, fire. <laughs> I <laughs> right? know, right. We always have a good time. So, um, you know, um, I know that people always, you know, when I have them on the show, I love, you know, finding out, well, what was your background? What was your path to getting to where you are today as, you know, uh, really an esteemed jewelry designer? Like, what was the, what was your path to becoming that? Because there, I'm sure there's people out there that are artists and want to be doing things that make their hearts sing. Right. And it's so nice to be with someone who is doing that. And your jewelry brings so much joy to people. Oh, thank you. You know, I mean... And when I say you love to have fun, I mean, your your whole business launched on having these fabulous jewelry parties. Yes. And, and, and people come together. And it's more than about the jewelry. It's about friendship and love Absolutely. and fun. But celebrating these beautiful pieces that you make that are just one of a kind, mm. like the one you have on today. Thank it's you. So beautiful. Thank you. Yes. And it's always so cool because I always feel like people always seem to buy your pieces that kind of match them, like their personality. Oh, and, totally. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. In answer to your question about what led me here, yeah. I'm going to talk about that later because I want to talk about the parties. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I became a jewelry designer 20 years ago. Yeah. And I wanted to do it the fun way. Yeah. I didn't want to walk into stores and go, would you like to represent my... I, yeah. I, I didn't want to Yeah, do yeah. You're, t you're no. too out of the box no, for that. No, I wanted to invite my friends yes. over for wine and food and a yeah. lot of fun and so they could meet other fabulous women yeah. and have yeah. a good time. Yes. Whether they bought anything or not. Right. And I don't believe in selling. Yeah. They sell it to themselves. Right. They're right. at the parties. They're drinking wine. They're having fun. Yeah. And they're seeing it on, they're seeing jewelry on something and they're going, oh, you got to get that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect for you. Right. Or if you don't want it, I'll take it. Yeah. It's like that. Or I see something perfect for my cousin or my sister yes, or my mom. Exactly. Or, and yeah. you've done that a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yes. And you brought so many friends too. Thank you. Well, I really appreciate it. That's what, that's how it happens. Friends yeah. bring friends because everybody has a great time. But you know, everybody wants to come because it's a big old love fest. It is. <laughs> it's a love fest. Yeah. Exactly. And I think we have some pictures that we're putting up that are um, online and at the parties. Um, beautiful, awesome. one of a kind design. Lines. And I know people, uh, celebrities have worn your stuff, yes, red carpet yeah. events. And, Ty and Tyra Banks wore some of my jewelry yeah. on America's Got Talent oh when she gosh. was on. Oh, that's so cool. Yes. We love Tyra. Yes. And uh, so she has good taste. She's got good taste. <laughs> yes, yes. And, you know, your background, uh, which I know you don't talk a lot about um, being an actress and being a writer. In fact, you now have a writing class that you put on a master workshop so a it's master something writing group mastermind group yes. mastermind group right that, yes that you started know. nine years ago yeah i mean i if you notice everything you do is around bringing people together so yes uh you did that you put on uh, plays that brought people together yes you put on a workshop called um, the art of having fun. Of course. The oh, yes. art of having fun. I've reinvented myself several times. I, yeah. I think that's part of the joy of living. Yes. Is discovering new gifts and talents right. about yourself and trying yeah. out new things. And yes, I was an actress for several years. I supported myself for 16 years. Oh my I came gosh. out kind of late. You I was did. 30. Yeah. When I came out and to, to, came out to LA, yes, yeah, uh, but I was. We got to verify that when yeah. it's me hosting it. I know <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, but I was always interested in other stuff. Yeah, I, I started writing plays. I started writing screenplays. Yeah. I, I had a few things optioned. I yeah. wrote and directed a play that was produced at the Tiffany Theater, and, and it uh, got optioned. Uh, that right? got optioned. Yes, yeah. as a movie, didn't get made, but yeah. 
That's, I still had a lot that's of fun. Typical. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and I won some awards, and it was yeah. a great experience for me. Well, I know you came to L.A. kind of later in life, like almost 30, yes. right? Yes. And uh, that's not easy to break into the acting business. No. Now, but you did, and like I you did. said, you worked 16 years. I was yeah. watching Pretty Woman the other night, <laughs> and uh, up came credits Minda Burr. And I'm yeah. like, what? I, I know there's only one Minda Burr, so it's got to be my friend I was who has of, never mentioned yeah. that she was in Pretty Woman. I was one of the bitchy sales ladies <laughs> on Beverly in Beverly Hills. Which is so funny because yeah. like that's not like at all who you are. So that's funny. That's what you were playing. Yeah. But yeah. That, that's what's fun to play the bitch. Yeah. 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 Or the whore. Yeah. Or, or the trailer <laughs> trash. That's the most fun, for sure. And I know so. you were like on Charlie's Angels. Yes, and I Chips go all and... the way back to Chips and Charlie's yeah, Angels. Yes. How you... fun. Now, people are probably guessing how old I am now. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to yeah. get to yeah. that because nobody is going to believe it. So oh. I'm kind of saving that. Um, so here you are. You were born in Iowa City and then grew up in Tucson, um, Arizona. Tucson, Arizona. Yeah. And I'm thinking, thank God they moved from Iowa City because I don't see you growing up in Iowa, Minda. Oh, God, no. no. <laughs> but Arizona, yes. You know, yes. kind of more hippie-ish and cool. Yeah, and, cowgirl. Yeah. Chick kicking cowgirl. Yeah. That's what I am. Yeah. So growing up in Arizona was fun? I loved it. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. And I didn't want to leave to go to college. Everybody wanted to go to the U of A that went, because it was a party school. Yeah. I am a party girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's what keeps me young. Yep. I love being with fun people, doing yeah. great things, and yeah. going to concerts and, and plays and yes. any kind of artistic endeavor. Yeah. I, and I love supporting my friends. You are I've the got, best. I've got so many great friends who are yes. so talented, and I do love supporting my friends. Yeah. Those of you who are watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that's something we so have in common, that we yes, love we that. And, you know, there's such a joy in that, in connecting people and... And there is. getting behind their plays and their music and their books. And, you know, there's just a lot of joy in that. I think everybody yes. should really um, indulge in that a bit more than they do, you know. And, well, th and there's so much joy. Yes. And, yes. And you learn so much. Yes. And yeah. everyone has something new to teach you, yeah. and everyone brings out a different side of your personality. Yeah. And I, you keep growing and expanding because yeah, I, you're out there in the world. I think you know? you're like me. Like when I go see a show, like I went and saw Wendy Hammers the other night in Tasty Words, I love and I'm that like, show. oh my God. Yeah. I'm like, these people are so gifted. They're so talented. Yes. I, just, I just eat it up. I just love so it. So much talent yeah. everywhere. And um, so you came here when you were 30, but. We, I want to talk about you also suffered a terrible tragedy that, you know, I've known you a long time and I didn't know this. I know other people I, I was sharing this with that didn't know this about you. And I think it's one of the things that's really interesting about our culture is we can be friends with people. Right. And sometimes we don't know what challenges that they've overcome. People don't talk about it. We're always talking about what's happening really in the present day. But where have people come from? What have they been through? Right. Is sometimes really eye opening. Yeah. And I had no idea that you'd been in a really bad car accident. Yes. Two yeah. weeks after I came out to Los Angeles, wow. I was in a horrendous car wreck. And it, it totaled yeah. my car and it totaled my spine. Oh my God. And I was in such severe pain for so long. The fact that I worked was amazing. Yeah. Unfortunately, I was on a lot of pain pills. Right. And um, I, I, it's the most challenging thing I've ever been through. I literally lost my entire identity because I had always been so active and so healthy. Yeah, and you told out me there, and I, I, you told me you were really athletic. I was, uh, yes, you were a I, swimmer, I was a golfer, competitive swimmer, a volleyball, golf, which I never golfer. would have known. Yeah, yeah, I, I competed in, in, in both very um, avidly. Yeah, and I played volley on volleyball teams and softball yeah. teams, and yeah, I was a, I was an athlete. So yeah. to lose my physicality yes, was heartbreaking I can't imagine. for me. Wow. I, I, um, the, the what happened? The blessing out of it was though that it got me on my spiritual path. Right. And it got me on consciousness raising, so I could learn yeah. how to heal myself. Right. Because I was like this. I was just. Yeah. A freaking mess. I, I, I'd, I'd be lying there going, well, if I'm not my body and I'm not my looks and I'm not my personality and I'm not yeah. my success, what am I? Right. It made and made you so, do some soul searching. And oh, big time. Made, and um, yeah, that I hated it at the time. Right. But I look back and I go, wow, that did turn out to be a blessing. 
Isn't it crazy? Because it got me on that, becoming a seeker so early on and doing The Course in Miracles, which is where I met Marianne. Right. So let's talk about this too. When you were putting on your workshop, which is the art of having fun. Right. Like who would put on that workshop? Only you, Minda. I love (laughs) that. I love that. You actually met your husband in that workshop, Johnny, who we all love. Yes, yeah. I did. Uh, that was the first time we met. Um, yeah, what a cool place to When he came to, to see me in one of my workshops. and um, I mean, who wouldn't like the girl that's running the How to Have Fun <laughs> workshop? You Hi, know? Johnny. <laughs> yes, yes. And yeah. 10 years later, yeah. we got married. I know you did. Yes. I was there. It was very exciting. You were so there. I'm so happy you were there. And Marianne married us. And yeah, Marianne Williamson, who's yes. running for president, yes. married you I'm all on this that. beautiful mountain in Solvang mm. at Cat and Scott's beautiful home. It was so special. Really one of the most special weddings I have ever been to. Best day of my life. Next to my own. Yes. <laughs> yes. And your wedding was Which fabulous Which you inspired too. us to get married. I loved your wedding. Um, and, and so... I want to talk about um, the fact that nobody here would ever in a million years know that you waited till you were 69 to get married. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure people are watching going, what? This woman couldn't even be 69, but that was two years ago. That was two years ago. Wow. A year and a half ago. So it's never too late to find true love. It is never too late to find true love. Yeah. And um, the great blessing um, beyond meeting the love of my life is that I got to marry into his family. Yeah. He's got the most amazing three grown children who I love dearly. Yes. And three beautiful grandchildren. Yeah. And I I got to have them the easy way. Yeah. Right? And th- this is the same for me. So <laughs> I got to marry into the most beautiful yes. family. Yes. Yeah. They're so awesome. It's so, I'm and so it's blessed. never too late. It's never too never late. Too for late. That. Never too late. Never too late. Um and and I waited till I was 58, so that's pretty late too. And and so at that wedding, uh, which was so beautiful and so magical, uh, you. you had Marianne Williamson as your um, she married us official officiate. Yes. And the reason that you did that is you and Marianne have been friends for more than 20 years, oh, right? Since May- 1984. It's yeah. Been we, okay. 30, so we won't say how many years. years. Yeah. yeah. 35 Four, years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 35 and, years. And um, I'm so proud of her. Yeah. For, uh, I mean, the courage it takes Yes. to run for president. Oh my gosh. I can't even um, imagine. And did you see her town hall on yes. CNN last yes. Sunday? Yes. If you haven't seen it, it, it please check you it out to see on it. CNN. It, she is she is the most prolific speaker of all of them debating. Incredible. Yeah. And speaks from a spiritual place, which is a breath of fresh air to people like myself. Oh, it, it, yeah. the, the message is so profound, mm-hmm. unlike anything on politics. Yes. I urge you to see it if you haven't. No matter who you think you're going to vote for right, right. now, you've never heard anything like this in your life in right. terms of her answers. Right. So, and I would like to say one thing. Yes. Because I uh, I want to support her in getting fourteen thousand more unique contributions to get on that uh, debate stage at the Democratic convention in mm-hmm. June. Right. That's all she needs, even just a dollar contribution. Right. So I'll tell you what you can do. You can go to Mary Ann. Uh-huh. 2020.com to make right. a $1 donation. And that's Marianne with an I. Yes, M-A-R-I-A-N-N-E. Yeah. I've been yes. following her myself for 20 years. Uh, I yes. say something every day in my meditation that she um, teaches to people, and it, it, it's made a difference in my life. And I know she's really changed a lot of people's lives also with her books like return oh, to yeah. love is amazing oh yeah um, and a and woman's worth and illuminata yeah. and she wrote a book called uh healing the soul of america too 20 right. years ago because she knew where we were headed wow she pro- she prophesied this wow. where we are right now really yes yeah so it is really important that we have someone of that spiritual significance on the debate platform to I raise our consciousness to raise the conversation Conversation. So yes. uh, I agree with you, Marianne 2020. Uh, everybody should participate in getting her on that debate stage. No yes. matter who you're voting for, exactly. it's important to have the debate. I agree. Yeah. And to hear yeah. that that soul and that yeah. brilliant mind yes. and that profound perspective. Yeah. Yes. So you must be so proud to call her your friend. I am. Yeah. I'm very blessed. Yeah. So yes. you've known each other since you're five. 
<laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just stick with that. <laughs> so um, it's very exciting what's happening in the world with the women's movement. It really you know? is. I mean, uh, I know we're both working on things to perpetuate that. And uh, You're the best, by the way. Well, thanks. What you've done to support women Thank you. and women's causes, humanity in general. I mean, you're, you're, you are such a bright light, Catherine. Thank you for all that you've been Well, thank you. I appreciate that. And I just think that uh, right now is our time, and we can't sit on the sidelines, and we have to get in the game. And it's so important that we have uh, females in those positions of influence right now, because as the Dalai Lama said, it is the Western women that will save the world. Exactly. And it's the truth, and it's real, and I it's agree. why we have to get behind women in politics and in corporations yes. and as entrepreneurs, yes. uh, all of that. It's so important. We we just can't take it for granted anymore. We have to move into those positions we, where we are making influential decisions that affect the planet. You know, someone the other day said to me, yes. um, uh, we were going around a workshop, and they said Andrea Quinn's workshop that uh, I know. And we love her. Yes, we love Andrea Quinn, the Quinn Essentials, and she um, was asking people, you know, what would if you had a check and you could write a check for anything, what would you do? And people said, well, I would solve homelessness, or I would solve education, or I would solve sex trafficking, right. I would solve, uh, you know, the plight of animals, and then uh, I said. I would write the check to all the female entrepreneurs who would solve all of those problems, right? Yes. And that's why we need to get behind the female entrepreneurs. It's because they, they that is who will solve all the, these problems that the planet's oh, having there's now. Oh, there's some good Environmental men out there too. And, but, but yeah, yes. Yes, but they what, have their female side well developed. Right. Here's the yeah. thing. Um, th there's so many men at the decision making table, like 90%, that if it would be 50 50, I'm not saying get rid of the men. I'm saying let, give us a place <laughs> yes. at the table so that yes. you have the input of the yes. feminine energy to save the planet. Absolutely. So we save the environment and people and education and minorities. And you see what I'm saying? It's like absolutely, yeah, yeah we need more women. We, more we, women at the table. Well, look yeah. what happened at the congressional election in, in midterm. Yeah. Come on, all the women that got into Congress? Yes. There's definitely a movement going on. Yes, there's definitely a movement going on, and, and we definitely want to be a part of that. Um, so what's next for Minda Burr? So, Minda, you've led this amazing life. Uh, you've, got, you've battled this terrible pain but overcome it after 20 years. And I, and I imagine, you know, there's always someone listening who's saying, wow, that's my story. Mm -hmm. And so I would like to share more about how you ever overcame oh, yeah. the pain because um, I know it didn't just go away. And, no, I, yeah. you, you know what? This will be a gift to people mm -hmm. because I know that there are a lot of people out there that are in chronic pain. Yes. And they, they can't stand it. Right. Neither could I. And I judged it relentlessly. Even with my spiritual questing, mm -hmm. I still, all of my efforts were trying to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Instead of going, okay, I'm in pain right now. What's this? What's my my learning here? Mm -hmm. And how can I let go of this angst that I yeah. have around it? Right. And um, I spent all my time trying to get rid of it. Like 20 years. Ugh. Yeah. More. More. Okay. Yeah. I was at the chiropractor constantly, the acupuncture constantly, get, getting getting massages, getting rolfing, going from this pain, pain clinic to that pain clinic. Right. It was. I was so obsessed with it. Right. That that was my focus. I realized that was my focus. And I, it's like, like it's like the law of attraction. What you're focused right. on, you will create. Or I've always heard where the attention goes, grows. I know. Right. So I was like, and what you resist persists. Mm -hmm. I finally went. Oh my God, that's why I've got to stop fo focusing on this. Right. I stopped going to the doctor. I stopped trying to fix it. I stopped trying. I stopped judging myself for not being able to heal it. Wow. I just stopped. Right. And I just focused on enjoying my life. Now I never stopped enjoying my life, even with the pain. Yeah. Most people didn't know I was in pain. Right. Um, I never stopped yeah. that or right. creating or anything else. Right. But I was still had the pain. Right. So once I stopped focusing on it, that's when it went away. Are you kidding? That's amazing. No, that's the just, best advice you could give somebody. It was a miracle. And and people must be still sitting at home going, what do you mean if I stop focusing on it? How yeah. do I not focus on it when I'm hurting? And 
You know, I know yes. you even told me this unbelievable story that you were in so much pain that you literally got on a plane and went to the Mayo Clinic. I did. Without an appointment, and they told you it was a year wait, and you're like, oh, no, I can't Oh, no, I kept going back day after day after yeah. day. I was in my pajamas when I went back to the Mayo Clinic, and they finally put me on the psychiatric ward. Because that's for, the only place with, they could put you in. Yeah for, yeah, for people with chronic pain. Yeah. And plus, I was a little nuts. I was like, I couldn't stand it, it anymore. It was just I so wanted debilitating. to jump off a bridge. Yeah. Yeah, so um, that and this was, was all such because, a great thing. For those that weren't listening before, this is all because of a car accident. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I couldn't, uh, I mean, I just, I, I had so lost my entire identity right. and, and my health yes. and my and my freedom. You were down to 100 pounds. I, I went down yeah. to 102 pounds, which yeah. is 40 pounds less than I, I weigh live right it to a, a woman. I say, you were down to 100 pounds. She goes, no, 102. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, 102. But 102 pounds yeah. is not good on me. Yeah, yeah. And no, seriously, I was like, I, I was just a skeleton of my yeah. former self wow. in every way, psychologically, physically, everything. So yeah. I know what it's like to lose everything. Right. And because your health is everything. Right. And, um, but that, that was the beginning of the spiritual quest and the healing and the consciousness raising. And uh, right. when I came right. back, that, that month in the psycho ward was the best thing. Right. It was great. So they yeah. released you, and, and, and you were able to deal with this, like, unbearable pain, but you were able to deal with it by the time I you I was left. able to deal with it in a because better way. Because of the way. spiritual uh, Yeah, it was the approach. ongoing journey of yes. the expanding, you know, just the soul's yeah. journey. Yeah. Because I believe it's all a soul's journey. It I is. Think the whole, this whole ride, so it goes by like that. So you got over that obstacle by basically letting go of focusing on it. That would be the message. I did. Then, right after you got married, you got the news about having breast cancer. Yes. Which is way too common these days. And uh, it's a scary, scary but diagnosis. You, you know what, though? I kind yeah. of handle it the same way I finally grew to handle my pain. Yeah. Instead of fighting it. Yes. I was going, okay, what do I have to learn from this? Right. And I decided that that was a year ago. I got diagnosed a year ago. I was told that if I did not do chemo, my chances of survival were low. Mm -hmm. And I went, I knew I wasn't supposed to do it. Yeah. I yeah. knew that I could learn what I was supposed to learn like that. Right. And, um, and the main thing that I learned was I still had some regrets. Mm -hmm. I let them all go. Because wow. regrets are so... They'll kill you. Will poison your soul. Wow. And I still had some regrets. I am now at a place where I've embraced no my entire regrets. life journey. I love it. I've embraced it all. I feel so blessed every day to be on the planet. I love the people in my life. I love what I'm doing. I, I celebrate every day. I really do. I probably party a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you but, only go around once. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I, I just feel so incredibly blessed to awesome. still be here. And I'm, I'm in remission. Yes. And I yes, didn't do that's chemo. I didn't do radiation. To no, but I've taken very good care yes. of myself and I did supplement. And right. I want to thank Kathy Painter for being my advocate. Yeah. Uh, she's an amazing naturopath. That got me on some great supplements and and on uh, supported me all of the way. Yeah. I've gotten so much support from yeah. so many people, so much love, and I j I took it in I, like a sponge. All and the there's love. more and more people like yourself and my wife that have healed themselves holistically, changing the way they eat, taking the supplements. Uh, exercising, living a healthy lifestyle yes. to get rid of those things. And oh, yeah. So, you, you've got to take really good care of yourself. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. have to honor your body yes. tremendously. Yes. And I think I'm going to end up being healthier in my elder years, which yes. apparently I'm already in. <laughs> <laughs> Who would know? Uh, Who would know? Then I would have been had I not yeah. been diagnosed. And, and you know, um, the thing is, is that... Um, you know what you what you're what we're saying is about the holistic living, but I think one of the key things that you did here and with your back pain uh, that you were talking about was um, your ability to let go. And if there's one message in this entire program for people to learn from you, is about that letting go, that step of letting oh, go, that forgiving. Surrender. Whatever's happened in your life, forgiving people, forgiving yourself. Exactly. Right? Yes. Yeah. And you know what, too? And marrying a wonderful person. And marrying a great guy. <laughs> Having love in your life every day is a healer. Oh, my God. My, my friend BJ always it's says so love great. is a healer. Lo absolutely. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm so blessed. I've got the best husband in the world. That's yeah. what I feel. Yeah. And the best friends in the world. Everybody mm -hmm. should feel that way, yes. right? Yes, yes, everyone should and feel family. that way. And family. And I want to shout out to my darling Tracy out there, who's the daughter I have had for 20 years Yeah. Uh, as a soul daughter. Soul daughter. Soul daughter. She, mo she lost her mom when she was in her 20s, and... And I never had children of my own. Yeah. And, um, and by some, choice, yeah. somehow my soul knew I was going to be marrying Johnny later yeah. with his children. But we've been together as mother and daughter for 20 years now. Yeah. And sometimes it's nice when you can choose your family. You know, it's a blessing. Uh, sometimes it's better. Yeah. <laughs> Most yes. of the time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, from the workshop of the art of having fun to your amazing writing abilities, your acting, and now your incredible jewelry designing Thank business. You. Um, I, love it. I think your life has been full and rich and amazing it has. and will continue to be. Thank and you. And you are a blessing in the life of everybody that you meet, Minda. Thank you, Catherine. Yeah. Oh God, I feel the same way about fabulous, you. Fabulous, fabulous lady. Love you too. Love you, love you, love you. I love you too. Yes. Well, and I'm online now too. You are so. at Minda Burr Jewelry. That's B U R R. MindaBurrJewelry.com. And so we hope they'll check you out. We hope they'll go to Marianne 2020 uh, to register to get behind her, Marianne Williamson, for the debates. And uh, just uh, whatever you're doing, get off the sidelines and do something amazing for someone else today. Make it a great week and uh, hugs and happiness.